Miss Smith, how old are you? 19 years old. And how old are you, Mr. Ramon? 21. How long had you and Miss Smith been dating? Um, since about February of last year. It appears, Miss Smith, from what you say, that you were staying over at the defendant's house, and that was January of yes, this year. Had you done that often? Staying at his house? Yes, ma'am. With your mother's permission? Yes. What time had you arrived at his house on the 28th? Um, I'd say probably around 2 or 3 in the morning. You got there at 2 or 3 in the morning? Yes, I was out of town with some friends that night, and when I got back in town, I went over to his house and saw him. Where had you been? Winona. What were you doing there? I'm um, seeing friends, hanging out. Why didn't you go home? Uh, I just didn't want to. And he invited me over, and I said, okay. Well, you live at home with your mother. I'm just trying to put this all together. And you were out with some friends, mm -hmm. getting home at 2 o'clock in the morning. Could I ask you a question? 19 years old, lives under your roof, so you control the air, you control the, you know, what goes on in your house. Had your daughter told you she was going to be away for a couple of days? Um, it's not unusual for her to go to Winona. I have a 24-year-old 24 that lives in Winona. So when she goes out there, sometimes she will stay the whole weekend. Okay, so when did she leave? I would imagine she left that Friday. I left that Friday. 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 Okay. Did she tell you she was going to Winona for the weekend? That is my aware. question. Yes, ma'am. How did she get there? Driving. Whose car? Mine. So you loaned her your car to go there? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to... <laughs> We're going to figure it all out. Okay. okay. So your daughter lied to you and told you she was going to Winona for the weekend. She went there for the evening, and then she went to her boyfriend's house at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes, On Saturday. Well, can I say just, something quick? Just to say, no, I'm not talking to okay. you. Just so that we get this clear. Because, yes, you know, I've had teenagers, too. She didn't tell you she was going to Winona for the early evening, and then she was going to spend the rest of the weekend with Mr. Raynone. Absolutely not. Thank you. You may be seated. Now, so you got to Mr. Raynone's house at about 2 o'clock in the morning? Yes, ma'am. And then what happened? We started fighting um, when what, I... What were you fighting about, Miss Smith? Well, he didn't really agree with me going to town anyway. You know, anytime I hang out with my friends, it's a problem. And so we were fighting. Well, but he had invited you over, or you would plan to go over, or you woke him up? Or no, he invited me over. He was awake the whole time. So far, is that correct? Yep. Okay, and you started to argue because had you been drinking? No, I was driving. So that you were just arguing about hanging out with these people. Did you have a brother or a sister in Winona? A brother. So you were supposed to be staying with him? Well, I tried contacting him after I finished. You told your mother you were staying with him. Yes, ma'am. So that would be on the 27th of January, right? Yes. Did you see your brother at all on the 27th of January? No, I texted. No, that's, so the answer is no. You didn't see him at all? No. So who were you seeing? I was with four of my friends. Where did you go? We went to another friend of mine. So I used to live there, and I moved from there to where I live now. And so we were just hanging out with my friends, and after I hung out with them, I texted my brother and let him know if that I was in town and that I wanted to see him, and he didn't contact me back. What time so, was that? Around 10 or 11. Does he work? Yes. I mean, he's, a, he's awake. I know, I know him, and I called his phone, but he didn't answer. So, and so he we, was awake? You called his phone, he didn't answer, you texted him and he didn't answer. Okay, now, so then you're over to the boyfriend's house. So the plan wasn't that you were supposed to go to the boyfriend's house. The plan was you were supposed to go, and according to you, according to you, I'm just figuring out who my customers are. I don't think you're a bad young lady. I just think that you're a fibber. So I have to figure out what you were fibbing about and what you're not fibbing about. So you weren't supposed to. The plan wasn't that you were coming back to see your boyfriend. The plan was, according to you, that you were going to, after you finished hanging out with your friends, text your brother and get in touch with him and go and sleep there. Correct. <laughs> but he didn't answer the phone. Correct. Right. You have your phone with you? Correct. I'd like to see the text to your brother. Um, this is, I have my new phone. The phone that I texted him off was the one that Joshua broke. So then you get to Joshua's house, and you were a late guest, so you didn't get to contact him until after 10, 11 o'clock at night because you didn't know that you couldn't stay at your brother's house, according to you, which I don't believe, until 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And you go to his house, and you start to argue because he didn't like you hanging around in the college town.